Hey, how's it going everyone? This is uh, DJ with Reb School Garage again. And today we're going to be working on the uh, 2000 Yamaha Virago 250, XV250, V-Star 250, whatever. Um, anyway, we're going to be uh, finishing up sanding down the fins and making them poli and polishing them. And uh, we're also going to reinstall the chain guard. And then I'm going to start looking at what needs to happen to run the wires inside the handlebars. Um, the first thing we're going to do is drill a couple holes in the handlebars and make sure that they're hollow enough to get everything in and out. So, yeah, that's uh, what we're doing today. If you want to see how I do it all, stay tuned. Okay, well, we've got the chain guard back on, and I think it looks pretty good. Blends in well. Works great with the red chain. Uh, good contrast with the shocks. All looks good to me, and we've also got the fins um, completed. They are polished on both sides, so you can see them here. Maybe a little better light. They're polished, and they're also polished on the other side. So, ready to go. Um, yeah, and I think it looks pretty good with the air filter there, and you know, the white or the uh, silver circle down there. Um, I think it all looks pretty good. So now we are, um, I'm running it through the process of curing the exhaust pipe, the exhaust paint. And what you have to do is you have to let it run for 10 minutes at idle, which I just did, and then let it sit for 20 minutes. And then you let it run for 20 minutes and then let it sit for 20 minutes again. And then you get to take 30 minutes of just normal riding. So this is what it looks like after the first 10 minutes nothing looks changed to me it still looks good so uh, we'll see what it looks like after the next one all right there's uh it's now been sitting in idling for 20 minutes and as you can see no changes so looks like we're going to be good to go with this new exhaust uh, paint and it's also like i said on the engine so everything looks good the engine looks a little bit white because it's still dusty from the sanding on the fins, but uh, yeah, it'll it'll all come off in the next wash. But yeah, there it is. The, that seems to have worked just fine. Whereas the 500 degree heat was all burned up right here on both pipes. So yeah, looks much better now. All right, let's uh, let it sit and uh, we'll take it for a spin maybe later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and um, drill a couple of holes in these handlebars and we're going to try to feed a fish wire through it and make sure we can get all the way through the handlebars. Um, and if we can, then we'll start running wires. But that's the first thing, um, you know, and if I mess this up, I've wasted 60 bucks. So, <laughs> oh well, let's give it a try. I'm not taking it all the way off the bike. I'm just going to roll it down because we're going to put the hole right about there. So let me get a marker. Okay, what we're going to do is this is about where the handlebars sit normally. So we want the um, wires coming out right here in the middle. Okay. But we have wires coming from both sides, so we don't want the hole dead in the middle. We want two holes, one on each side. So what I'm going to do is, just as a marker, I'm going to use these two uh, nuts or screws. Okay. So take a marker. That's about where my handlebars go. And right there is where I want my holes. So there we go. Now we're going to take a center punch, put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And all right, now that's where we want our, take those back down so I don't lose them. All right, now that's where we want our holes to come out for the bottom, but we also still need to figure out where they want to come out with the top. So as you see, this has... So up here you have this wire, 
which is um, going to the uh, throttle and you know the kill switch and all that good stuff and you have these wires which are the rear brakes so there, there, people do this two different ways they just eliminate this all together because you you I mean there's 99% of the time you're using your rear brake and it's gonna light the brake light and you don't need this one um, so you could just eliminate it completely but I don't want to do that I want to use it so I'm gonna go ahead and try to route it through so there we go we got those two holes so which means that our next hole should be about right here I'm gonna put it like right in the bend so that you know both of them can get in there fairly easily All right so let's do it about right <clears throat> there and we're gonna do the same over on the other side all right I'm gonna start off using um, just a small bit and uh, on each hole first and then I'll use a larger one and I'm just gonna do one side because if I can't get one side I'm not gonna be able to do the other so um, and once I do this, I'm ruining the handlebars anyway. So uh, we're just going to do one side for now. So put this in my back pocket and let's get started on the smaller holes. All right. We definitely know the bars are hollow now. <laughs> All right. There's our smaller hole. Now we drill our bigger hole. All right, there's one hole. And it shouldn't need to be any bigger than that. But we may need to, so we'll find out. We'll spin this back down and drill the other one. All right, there we go. We've got some two holes drilled. We got one up on the top for the wires to go in and one at the bottom for the wires to come out. And uh, now we're gonna run a fish down it and make sure we can uh, gain access through the whole thing. Yeah, here we go. Um, this is just picture hanging wire, you know, that you would hang a big picture with. So it should be a little more flexible and I should be able to get it down in there a little easier. Let's start from the bottom maybe. That way the bend is closer to us. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> that was much easier. <laughs> All right, let me get my uh, needle nose. Okay, I went ahead and fed it from the bottom up and uh, that worked much better. That put the curve at the beginning of the, the uh, fish line that way. And the fish line is right there. I mean, I just can grab it with these pliers. Force it. There it goes. All right, now we got the whole thing through. So, there it is. Now we have our fish wire. Um, so what we would do is track, you know, track the wires, see where they go to, and then unplug them down there, and then start feeding them through, probably one by one. I don't know. Just try to shove them in one by one. Um, yeah. That's what we're going to do now. Yep, I can see the wire. Okay. So there we go. All right, we're ready to um, start running the wires or checking the wires now. Looks like we'll, we'll start with this side. Because um, we got. Looks like the wire, all of these just go straight into the headlight, whereas these. Ten, looks like they go back into here somewhere, so we'll start with this side. Right, we're going to start by getting that headlight off. Get it out of our way for now. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take the front of the headlight off also. Just remove it completely so it doesn't get damaged or anything. Yep. Alright, let's unplug this so we don't mess anything up. Get the light off. Alright, let's go ahead and 
just pull everything out. Let's just take the bucket out all together. It's just going to be in our way. We're going to have to do a, probably going to do a lot of wire clipping and manipulation. So let's have the least amount of obstacles as possible. Okay, so this is the main wire harness going up. So there's one. The other one is the headlight. Oh boy. And then pink to pink and blue to blue. Yeah, we're gonna need to make the hole a little bigger. All right, let's do that. All right, we're just making the hole slightly bigger. That's all we're doing. Okay. Now. Again, on this side of the bike, um, let's see, there's yellow, pull that apart, there's black, and there's blue, yellow, black, and blue, yellow, black, and blue. We're going to tape those three together so we know they go right back on, oh, and pink, yellow, Black, blue, and pink all go to that side, the left side of the bike, along with, should be this one, right? Alright, that's all the wires that need to be run through this side of the handlebars. And let's just follow them and Take them down along the handlebars and make sure they're going to be long enough. I want to make sure so they're no longer in a straight line. So we have to. Oh yeah, look at that. They're not. All right. We're going to have to extend them. Yep, we're going to have to extend them, and I don't have time for that today. So these go over here. Figure this one out then while we're at it. Both of these lines go that way. Alright, these should be okay. Alright, I don't have time to do it all today, but now we know what we need to do. And that's the most important thing. So, uh, yeah, the next video should be me spending a bunch of time splicing wires. And we're going to have to make these wires longer on this end. All of them. There's uh, 10 total. Alright. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven total that I'm gonna have to make longer. So that's gonna be a little bit of work. All right, we'll uh, catch you on the next video. The next video will be me doing that work. Okay, well we got um, the chain guard put on. We got the whole engine painted yesterday, and today we finished up uh, polishing the fins and curing the exhaust which took a while because you know you gotta let it run let it cool let it run let it cool anyway that um that all got done and then we started planning on how to do the wiring through the handlebars we got the holes drilled i believe the holes are big enough now and uh one thing we need to do still is take a file a round file and go around those holes and uh you know smooth them out so there's no rough edges and uh then we can start uh, running the wires um, on just the left side of the bike. Just the left side is 11 wires. That's 22 connections I have to make, all right? Because I've got to clip them all and make them longer. So that's two connections on each end of the wire, of each wire. So it's going to be long and tedious. So and on the other side, it's about the same amount of wires. I think it's only like seven or eight though. But still, that's you know a good you know, 14 to 8, 16 wires that need to be done, connections that need to be done. So yeah, alright, um, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up and, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel, be much appreciated, and uh, if you want to see how
how the turns out with the wiring. Um, make sure you tune in for the next part. All right, I'll let you go there. Thanks, everyone. Have a good day.